reference type in dotnet application can have the null values and if you are not handling this null value properly then there are major chances that we will get the null reference exception but there is something that has been added in c sharp 8 to avoid this null reference exception completely and we will get all the possibilities of this null reference exception at the compile time and if we are getting it at the compile time then obviously we can handle it and we can fix it and because of that we will avoid this null reference exception completely and how is this possible in c sharp 8 there is something that has been added and it is called as null reference type first let's open the visual studio and let's create an application try to see what are the possibilities and at the end we will fix it by using the null reference type here i am using this visual studio 2022 let's create a new console application over here so i'm going to click on this file new and then choose this project over here i can use this console application click on this next button and here i have to provide a name let's say here i'm providing nullable reference type app like this and let's click on this next button here we have to choose the version of the framework and here i'm using this dotnet core 6.0 Let's use the latest one that is 6.0 that I have installed in my system. Click on this create button and this will create a very simple blank application for us. So we are having this very basic console application and in this console application we are having only one class that is program.cs and this is the code that is written inside the main method. So we are having this console.write line hello world. Okay. So before making any change in this application, let's first disable that null reference type because by default it is enabled in this application. So I'm just going to disable it. How can I do that? Just right click on the name of your project and choose this properties. Go to this build and use this general. If you will scroll down a little bit, then you will see we are having this null label. And by default, you will see that it is enabled. I can just disable it by using this drop down. And here you can see specifies the project wide c sharp nullable context only available for project that use c sharp 8.0 or later so this feature is available only in the c sharp 8.0 and the c sharp 8.0 was released with dotnet core 3.0 if you are using the 3.0 version or any greater version than that like the 5 6 or 7 then this change will be applicable in your project also so by default i'm just going to disable it let's save all the changes and go back to this program.cs class and here let's add one class so i'm going to create one class that is let's say i'm having this book model and in this book model i want to add couple of properties first i want to add let's say it is id and then i want to add the book name or we can say the book title And then I want to add the authors. So this is going to be an collection and it is going to be a collection of a string. Okay. So I'm having this very basic book model. And now let's try to use this book model in the program.cs class. So let's just copy this name. Go back to this program.cs class and let's remove everything because it is not required. And before that we have to use this namespace. So it is nullable reference type app. Here I can write using this one or you can also use the global namespace in this .NET application. Okay, so let's use that book model, this one and here is the book and by default let's try to use the null. Okay, so if I'm writing console.write line and just try to use this book dot title. So this is something that I'm doing. So in this variable, I'm having the null value and on this null value, I'm just using the title. If I'm building this application by just right click and use this build option, you will see the build is successful. There is no error at the compile time. But what will happen if I will run this application? So let's just run it. you will see we are getting an error it is saying system dot null reference exception this is because we are trying to get the title property from the null it means null dot title and null does not have any kind of title properties and because of that we are getting this particular error over here and here you can see that this error is coming only at the runtime we are not getting it at the compile time but if there is something that will tell us that there are some possibilities about the null error at this place then we can fix it 
and we will not get this error at the runtime. So let's see how we can fix that. So now we have to enable that null reference type in this application and there are two ways either you can make the changes directly in the CS pros file or you can use the same approach that we used to disable it. So here I'm having this properties go to build in the general section you in the general section you will see we are having this null label either you can use this enable from this place or let's make the changes directly from the CS pros file that is the project file. To open the CS pros file in .NET Core application, you can just double click on the name of your project and you will get this CS pros file. At this place, you will see we are having this one tag that is nullable disable. If you are having this, it means the nullable is disabled in your application. To enable it, you can simply use the enable like this. Just save all the changes and let's not make any further change in this application and go back to the program.cs class. Here we are. Immediately you will see we are having a warning at this place. So what is the warning? It is saying converting null literal or possible null values to null nullable type. What we are doing over here is we are assigning null to something that must be non nullable. And at this place we are getting one more warning. It is saying this book may be null at this place. So how can we fix this? Because at the compile time we know that this book might be null. So we can fix it by using a question mark at this place like this. Now what will happen if I am running this application, we will not get the null reference exception. We are not getting any output over here, but also we are not getting that null reference exception. Now let's say if it is null, then I want to display the message that no book like this. So if we have the book, then I will display its title. If we do not have the book, then we will have this no book. Let's just run it. We are having this no book. Okay. We are not getting this null reference exception. If we are enabling that nullable in this .NET application, then we cannot assign the null to any kind of reference type. And this object is a reference type. So here we are getting the warning that you cannot assign the null to this object. How can we avoid that? So I can simply use this new and the book model. And in the book model, I can assign a couple of values. Let's say I'm having this. This is the title. And let's assign the value. Let's say it is .NET book. Okay, and then what we have, we are having this ID. Let's say ID is maybe 10. And then we are having this authors and let's try to assign the null value over here again. So you will see we are getting one more warning that you cannot assign null to the authors. But now if you will try to run this application, then you can display the book title over here because we are already handling this book title over here. Let's try to run this application. We are having this message from the book object now what will happen if i will remove this question mark from here this time you will see we are not getting any kind of warning because the compiler know that this book is not null because we have created the object and because of that this is not null earlier we were getting the warning like this book might be null but now everything is fine and there is no need to put a question mark at this place now let's go back to this book model class and over here you will see we are having couple of reference type so this string is a reference type and this authors is also a reference type and on these properties also we are getting this warning so what is the warning it is saying non nullable property title must contain a non null value so it is saying that this title is a non nullable and it should not get the null value we cannot assign the null value to this title but if you are assigning the null value it will not throw any kind of error we are getting only the warnings the compiler is telling us that there are some possibilities that you might get a null reference exception just try to fix it so how can we fix that either i can create a constructor over here and in this constructor i can get two values for this title and the author and i can assign them at this place like this so let's just remove this id because let's say i don't need the id now you will see that the warning is gone and we are not having any kind of warning at this place but what is the problem now we have to make the change in the program.cs class so whenever we are creating the object in the constructor we have to provide a couple of values and this is something that is not good because we have to make the changes in the consuming class because of this main class so how can we fix that problem let's say i know that there are possibilities that this title can have the null values and i want to allow the null values so how can we do that for that we have to put a question mark at this place now we are telling to compiler that this property that is the title property and the authors property can have the null values and please don't show any kind of warning for these two properties. 
now what is the impact on the consuming side if you are using the question mark at this place let's go to this program.cs class okay here you will see that we are not getting any kind of error this time now let's just try to remove this and let's basically create only one object like this let's not assign any kind of value and let's just use one more line like this and here i'm using this authors and on this authors property i want to apply a couple of methods let's say i want to use this count method okay now what will happen if i will hover my mouse over here or before that even you will see we are having a warning what is the warning it is saying that authors may be null at this place so if we are telling the compiler that this property can have the null values then at the consuming side the compiler will show us a warning that here are some chances that this might be a null value please handle it and to handle it either we can use a question mark basically like this you can also add an if condition on this line like book dot authors equal equal null then do something else or return the value over here and in the else condition you can put it or you can also use this not equal to null if the authors is not equal to null then you can use this line at this place like this and this time you don't need any kind of question mark and even you will not get any kind of warning so this is how you can use it now let's try to understand the situation with n method so i'm just going to remove this line and in this book model i want to create one more method so here i'm creating public string and let's say it is get price and in this get price let's assume that i'm returning something let's say i'm returning null value now at this place you can see we are getting the warning that possibly null reference return and we cannot assign the null in any kind of situation let's try to use it in the program.cs class and over here even let's just remove this one also so here i'm using this book dot get price you can see that we are not getting any kind of warning at this place because we are getting the warning in this method and if we will handle something over here then we will get the warning in the consumer side how if i'm putting a question mark at this place like this now we are saying that this method can return the null value and we are just allowing it okay now let's say what are the changes in the consumer side in the consumer side on this get price if i will try to use some kind of method let's say the length or replace or let's say it is too lower then you will see we are getting a warning over here if i'm just removing it from here you will see the warning is gone from this consumer side because this time we have to fix it from this place so this is the concept of null reference type and using this concept you can get the warnings at the compile time and you can fix all the null reference exception possibilities only in your development and you will not get any null reference exception at the runtime you can use this question mark approach in any kind of reference type in dotnet application whether it is method type properties anywhere you can use this question mark let's go to the basic one so earlier we were having a null value at this place now let's say i want to assign this null value to this book type so where can i use the question mark in this situation you can use the question mark on this type like this and you will see that the warning from this place is gone and i can put a question mark at this place this is how we can work with the reference type in dotnet now let's say we are having a situation let's say i'm having this property and on this property i cannot use the question mark but i want to disable this warning then how to do that so here i can use this directive that is nullable and i can just disable it now we are disabling this nullable concept just for a part of this application if you are having properties at some other places then you will still get the warning but in this situation here we are not getting the warning even you will see we are having a warning at this place that we are having the label disable there is no need to put this question mark now let's say after these two properties i want to enable them then again i can use the same approach so just copy it paste and here i can write enable like this and you can see everything is working as expected so here we have disabled it and here we have enabled it now in between these two lines if i'm writing any code then we will not get any kind of warning for the label this is a very great approach and you can use it in your dotnet project and you can avoid the null reference exception completely that is all in this video let me know in the comment section whether you like this feature or not and if you like it where you can use this nullable reference type in your project and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe it thank you for watching have a great day